today we're going to talk about complexity and the um, need for it and, and um, the truth behind the need for it. Um, let's say you're driving in your car and you're listening to some contemporary classical music. Let's say you're listening to Schnitka or bring it around even more um, known, let's say you're listening to Schoenberg and <clears throat> you're in a traffic jam. You're like, okay, well, this is, um, this is uh, very highly evolved structures. Um, some of the tone row, 12 tone systems here are, um, you know, uh, complex to, for the ear, you know, it's, you have to evolve to hear it or, or I don't know, you know, what's, what tension here is, is, um, is high, um, there's a code here that's difficult to find. Um, these serial rhythm patterns are, you know, uh, highly evolved. Um, some of them are emulating raindrops, some of them are dealing with um, <clears throat> the golden spiral ratios and really complex concepts. And you're like, oh gosh, you know, sweltering heat, I'm in the traffic here, oh, rush hour, oh god, I'm picking my kids up from school, I got a you know, my f***ing kids go to school 27 miles from the house. I'm just like, good God, they hope they're f***ing appreciating this education I'm getting them. <clears throat> they better be. And then you're like, ah, I just, oh, oh, I'm just getting bogged down by this. Oh, Schoenberg, okay, I get it, Schoenberg, I get it. You're, you're f***ing amazing. You've got all the f***ing ideas, man. I mean, you're, 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 you know, you're, you're painting landscapes of negative space of leaves against the sky and in Eastern Europe, and you're fucking measured the fucking hummingbird tonalities of 9,000 varieties of hummingbirds and the fucking, you know, like 85 note microtonal scales of a fucking hummingbird wing. And you click the fucking thing off, and you hit the fucking radio, and back in black comes on. ACDC. That is a moment where you start to go, God, this. This sounds really fucking good. I wonder what music's purpose is. Well, music's purpose is high everywhere it is. It's matching the music to the moment of life <clears throat> that's important. There are times when the most sophisticated music that is such a fucking outpouring of the deepest personal concepts of intellectual fucking lunacy, unbelievable connection to the fucking universal mind, highest level shit, and it's just a bunch of fucking worthless crap if you're driving home from a fucking school and it's 900 degrees outside. Next to ACDC, it looks so sad and like it looks like the most fucking worthless dead flower just lying there like this the most egotistical horse possible and back in black is just like the highest art imaginable at that moment but flip the switch it's a ba -doo. you're in the zone of like wanting like to search for like the outer reaches of human consciousness through music and you're listening to some very complex Indian classical music where the rhythms are not possible. And you're really like hearing these ragas and these, these, these microtonal systems that are so advanced and ancient. And you're just like really floored and somebody you're with is going, what are you listening to? And you're like, oh, well, you know, I mean, listen, just take a moment, listen to it. Yeah, well, well, whatever. Um, listen, have you seen that Hot for Teacher YouTube? That tune is amazing. And immediately you're just like, oh God, I wanna kill this fucking guy. He just said that, he just brought up Hot for Teacher while I'm listening. Well, bam. It's the wrong time to be talking about Hot for Teacher when you're in the zone of this heaviest music made of blah, 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 blah. Fast forward yourself back in the car the next day, driving home from in St. Paul, you've got your kids in the car, you're like, whatever, and Hot for Teacher comes on, and you're like this. That's pretty killing. One way you get the gig is to recognize what music works when and do that music then. 
And you heard it here on Rational Funk. If, 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 if you matched a famous person to a dog, Tom Petty is a bloodhound. No, he's a whippet. No, he's a combination between a greyhound and a bloodhound. <laughs>